That's right. He bought the space. He was bought there in April, 1961. They actually worked it once. So once again, the Americans come out of the world. What are going to do? Once again, Huntsville Armory, we had a Mercury Redstone on Rocket with the Spectrum on the road. Yeah, we have a good light. That was the biggest the biggest and fastest price that we had. Aquí es el pueblo montado, ahora vamos y montamos, ¿no? ese es donde, donde tiene el, como el telescopio espacial del Atlantis. That John Kennedy said we're going to the moon. And that's what do you mean the moon? We're just under the Bahamas. What's up? About a couple of days came up, you look at that rock, you know you can't get to the moon in that, right? It's not big enough. It is. So you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need, first up, a bigger rocket to be up in orbit. That's the first thing you're going to have to do on your way to the moon. So, the uh, Mercury Atlas is the rocket that would do that, and that is an intercontinental ballistic missile. We will launch John Glenn on a missile just like that one, and he worked with the Earth three times. Came back with a big celebrity, went on to become senator from Ohio. He's the only one of the original seven still alive. He's 95 years old. But uh, he's still kicking. He is. His wife Annie's still with him, and he married 72 years. Don't know how old, I'm not going to say how old she is, but she's six months older than John. Yeah. So we had four of those missions. Bueno, para eso se me han tenido mal, hermano. Cuando pasó y se me han tenido mal a la luna. No, es que si de putas. Y, y eso es el es que le fue la luna, pero se tragó como, como en tres minutos, se traga toda esa gasolina. En tres, cuatro minutos. Que para salir de la atmósfera. Eso demora cuatro minutos salir de la atmósfera y ya. Ya no necesita casi gasolina. Esto lo arreglaba, esto no era así. So anyway, we would have the Gemini missions on 